Now, before I have to go to class, I will quickly explain the oscilloscope. This is, I did a review on this. This is the um, FNI RSI uh, 1014D oscilloscope. I did have one problem with it recently. The horizontal knob, and it's still a little bit gummy because I, I probably screwed it up, but it got, um, it, it seized up. Um, so I, uh, it, so I had to take, I literally had to desolder the knob, uh, take the whole, take the whole knob apart. It, it's a, it's, it's not a potentiometer. It's a, um, rotary encoder, but, um, so I had to take the encoder apart and then I was able to fix it by squirting some WD-40 in the, um, in the twisting mechanism and it loosened up and it loosened up and now it's working. And then I, uh, soldered it back into the oscilloscope. Um, anyway, but what's cool about this scope, by the way, if anybody, it, tell me down in the comments below if you recognize this quote. If you could tell me the quote, I, I'll be very impressed. Uh, on the bottom, you touch my scope and you die, scum, with the skull and crossbones. Um, anyway, um, this scope originally only used USB. You could only have a USB input. Um, so originally, I was like, well, that's stupid. The, 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 the whole, like, pretty much this whole back is hollow, too. I was like, that's, yeah, that's just stupid. Um, so I originally had 18650 cells in there. I had four 18650 cells in parallel and a, a little power bank circuit that was running the, uh, that was supposed to run it off a battery. The power bank circuit couldn't handle it. Uh, like I said, I salvaged all this stuff. So none of it is new. So the, yeah, the power bank couldn't supply enough power. This thing wants about an amp. It, this thing wants about 1.1 amps. So power supply could only handle the, the, you know, the, the, um, uh, uh, Power bank circuit could only handle about, I don't know, 750 milliamps, maybe an amp at max. So this thing wanted a lot more, especially when booting. Um, but so I've added, so I since took out the 18650s and instead I have, um, I have the, I also, I still have the USB input and then I have the switch and a mains input on the, on the, over here. Uh, and this is something that I did that's pretty cool. So you could you can either power it from USB, which and then you can power the USB from an external power bank, uh, or you can power it from mains. And so I I built an internal I put an internal mains power supply. So I took apart like a USB adapter and put that in here. So that's mounted. That's what these screws over here are actually mounting. So that's holding the mains power supply. So the mains goes in here. So you can select between what power source is going to run it. Much like on the power supply, like much like on my power supply, you can either choose USB or mains. Um, uh, but what most, what, what, what all main scopes have in, have that like DC scopes don't all main scopes, the pro grounds are shorted to the, um, mains ground. So, um, if you're trying to measure mains AC, you get the polarity wrong. If you put your pro ground on live, you're going to short, you might break your entire oscilloscope and you're definitely going to short live and live and neutral, which is going to triple break her. Um, so that's, that's, um, that can be a pain in the ass. But what's, what, what's important about that is it, it also makes it for less noise on the power lines. Um, Faraday's law is all I'm going to tell you. I, I could, I could go under that for an hour about how that works, but I'll just tell you Faraday's law. Uh, anyway, so, um, then we have, and then, so I added the switch, which is super, super awesome. Uh, so I did short the, I did short the programs to the, uh, to the, um, maids ground, uh, through a 220 ohm resistor because that's, uh, sorry, 220, uh, kilo ohm resistor, which is actually what connects the, uh, the, um, programs together anyway. So I, I used that on each program and added that, uh, both programs and then sent that through the mains, uh, plug. Anyway, so I have this little switch here. And so this does, um, this is a ground left switch, which is awesome. So I don't have to worry about if I'm still, if I have it hooked up to the main supply and I'm trying to probe a mains and I'm just, I'm always worried about that. If I'm, even if I know that I'm getting the polarity right, uh, then I just want to make sure that I did it right. So I, uh, so I have that ability to lift the ground, which is pretty cool. Yeah. So that's, um, yeah, that's some of the modifications that I made to the scope and one of the problems that I had with it since but there you go. I guess I gotta go to class now, so.